So the three kinematic equations are what most uh, textbooks start off with, um, just solving simple uh, problems of uh, translational motion. Um, they give you three, and I'm just going to say this right now, and then we're going to say those again. You absolutely have to memorize these. In physics, in the most fundamental idea of understanding motion through space uh, based on velocity and acceleration, um, these are the first things you have to get on your, your physics utility belt. And you should never lose these. Um, this will help you solve practically any problem um, that involves um, three-dimensional space and movement. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go through these. First you have v final equals v initial plus acceleration times time. So let's say you start at zero uh, meters per second and then you get a velocity, you get an acceleration of two meters per second for, for five seconds you're going to end up with a final velocity of 10 meters per second. A simple plug-in numbers. Um, for x equals, the distance equals initial velocity times time plus one half uh, acceleration times time squared. Um, you can derive this from this equation. Um, so think of these as all derivatives of this basic definition of velocity and acceleration. Um, here, uh, let's say you start at zero um, and then you're subject to, um, let's say, gravity in this case for, um, that's 10 meters per second squared approximately. Um, for four seconds, uh, you get 16 times 10 uh, divided by 2. And 16 times 10 divided by 2, it's going to be 16 times 5, which is 80. So you'll be falling for 80 meters over, over five seconds. Over oh, four seconds, sorry. So once again, you're just plugging in. Here you have v final squared equals v initial squared plus 2ax. Uh, let's say um, your final velocity is 4 meters per second. Uh, you start it at uh, 2 meters per second, so it's 16 and 4. And you accelerate it at 3 meters per second squared. Then how much distance did you travel? 12 divided by 6 is 2, so you travel for 2 meters. So you can see already these are so applicable. Um, but uh, a lot of students have trouble knowing which one to use. So to know, you should figure out what is not given in the problem. Um, let's say in a problem they give you v, they give you a v initial, they give you a, they give you t, or they give you three out of these four. But what they don't give you at all is x. They don't care about distance. So in the problem, if you're given three variables or two, if if this is zero, and they don't tell you x, you're immediately drawn to to your mind to use this one. So think of this equation as the one that does not depend on x. This one, what is missing? V final is missing. So you use equation two if you don't care about the final velocity. And here, uh, you use this if you don't care about time. I actually find that I use this one the most, because often you don't get a sense of time, you're only caring about distance and velocities. Um, so you want to think of these equations, first of all, memorize it. There's no way getting around that. You just have to know these. And think of these as uh, hints as to how you use these equations.